This is absolutely stunning. This is, again, another magical feel of a house. A very weird place because it's almost like they were just here and just passed away almost. Hello and welcome to another episode of Ghost Theory. We're going to be a bit quiet in the beginning of this one because this house has a very weird vibe about it. We don't know if someone's been checking in on it. I keep hearing doom. That's where we came in. We're just going to kind of get on with this straight off. Um, the light is on out there, which I did turn on. We'll turn off on the way out. I forgot to do it. Everything is here. I think that's safe to say, isn't it? Yeah. But, um... I don't know what that's all about. Care your way. It's a very weird place because it's almost like they were just here and just passed away almost. And it's sort of... So the, fresh. All the signs are about caring. Like by carers, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, lots of like care things. Or well, like, you know, don't drink this water and then it's got a logo of a care company as if somebody lived here who was Under elderly and died. I'm pretty sure the lady's name was Gillian. I also know that they're, they're potentially a policewoman too. Because, yeah, Gillian's on the fridge of magnets. Well, she's still on the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's just untouched. Yeah. It's amazing. Please do not touch. Well, that'd be why then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could go through all the stuff forever, but let's just first of all make sure we're on our own. It's the obvious thing to do. I have seen that there are some lights on, but let's just walk, because we're hearing noises. Yeah. All right, there's a light on. That's the front door. The light is on behind it, but there's a metal sheet, and I've closed that door just to keep our lights away a bit. Look at this. How creepy is that? Also, I haven't got my glasses on. So it's really blurry in here for me. I can't wait to watch this episode so I know what it's like in here. <laughs> <laughs> How is it like this? Well, they had it set up like this. Oh, this is weird. It gives me a weird vibe. I almost don't like it. Mm. What's her name? Jill. These, these are her paintings. Wow. Look, it's got her name on them. Greatness well remembered. Right, okay, so she was an she's, artist. You know, she seems like a really, really lovely woman already. Yeah. She's like, she almost seems like the sort of person we would get on with and have banter with for some reason. Yeah. Because she's got that vibe about her. She's a very cool. Like, we've almost have actually welcomed ghost hunters because yeah. it's just an interesting thing. That's the main front door. This house has, like, loads of doors, so. <laughs> more of her art by the looks of it. Yeah, what's that noise? Because I can't see him, I see much of my hearings. There's a clock too. How sight, it sounds like an engine. I can hear like pipes and everything. Fuck. There is no easy way out, we're trapped in here. Yeah. What the fuck is that noise? I don't want to go up there. No.
literally is like a, a balcony. That down there was the living room. It's completely full of stuff, so I won't be able to do much in there. But the artwork on this property. It's just my imagination. It's very creaky. That's amazing, look at that. It's actually like a painting with Big Ben, but the clock actually works. That's so. This place is a really nice layout. Yeah. You expect them to see someone just led in bed? I'm really concerned. Like, if we do come across someone who's died. <laughs> the lights work. <laughs> this is the storage room. Like, they used it as a storage room, I mm. mean. Why is it like this? Oh wow, okay. Oh my god. It's all been laid out for you. Yeah, it's like it's been put out for Urban Explorer. Yeah. Albert as well, someone here called Albert. Lipstick. I mean that's just ridiculous, look. Oh no, don't tell me someone's nicked these. Oh, I bet they have. Oh, I don't know, I'm not going to open them all, but... All the rings and everything, they're empty. It might be people who... Relatives. Yeah, that's the thing, it might not be a you, bad thing. You would have thought they would have taken paintings and everything, though. What is that? Okay. What the fuck? Oh, it's a carer. It's a call bell. Fuck. Hopefully that's not just <laughs> Yeah, someone. I know. Oh, this. Jeez, how many bedrooms does this have? Mind your step there. This is absolutely stunning. This is, again, another magical feel of a house. Yeah, look at those leaves on the window. And the old... Those plants are not... that uh, flower's not real, is it? No, these are all fake. Fake. I just heard three knocks. So did I. I see no one out there. I actually like this house. I would buy this house. That's creepy. What was that? Don't know. Oh god. Cool. What the hell? All right, okay. <laughs> There's a staircase again. <laughs> yeah. What a weird layout. Very. Quite cool though. Yeah, lots of little bits to keep things in. Was that another room? Bathroom. Hmm. It's these closed doors that freak me out. Main bedroom, I take it. 
I was really expecting to see someone led in bed then. <laughs> Whoa. Yes, the main bedroom. Oh wow, that storage goes round a long way. Don't build places like this anymore. Oh, I say, Crack we, on. Uh, yeah, just get on with this. Hmm. In and out as fast as we can. Hello, we are calling out to anybody, any spirits who may be here. We come with the utmost respect. My name's Elliot. Mine isn't, because my name's Joe. And we've just come to seek answers for the afterlife and to document history. We hope we're welcome in, the, in your beautiful home. We won't, we're not here to destroy it or, or steal anything. Yes, I am wearing sunglasses. <laughs> yes, I am indoors. <laughs> and yes, we are in night vision. It's a weird yeah. combination. And it's daytime. So yeah. It's, I, don't, I, I don't know. Actually, from here, it doesn't look like you're wearing sunglasses at all. It's weird. I can actually see, we'll see through your them. eyes, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I can't see a f***ing thing. Oh. Wow. Oh, f that hurt. Yeah. I f smashed my teeth together as well. Oh, my jaw hurts more than my head. I was like, ah, smash my teeth together. Remind me to always bring my glasses next time I <laughs> be on that camera. Yeah. I mean, just <laughs> oh, I feel blind and stupid now. <laughs> okay. Are you able to make a noise so that we know that you can hear us, please? Again, we don't mean you any disrespect. Hello? Like rumbling. Huh? There's a rumble. Oh, that wasn't the floorboard. That was. That was away from us. Can you hear us? Please, if there are any spirits here at all. I moved my tripod, but it sounded like something hit my tripod. Mm. Can you throw something in the house, wherever you are? There were three knocks and someone went, <sighs> Where was it?
Is Jill here? We're here to make contact with anybody. We're here to seek answers about life after death. There have been some stories about this place. Are you able to communicate with us? So we could hear the sound of a clock ticking quite slowly. Now listening back on the headphones and with the bass, you can most certainly hear the sound of like a man mumbling or, or some sort of talking. But if you listen to it with headphones, you most certainly will hear it. You can hear it on every camera except for the locked off camera. And it's mostly loudest on the camera microphones that we are holding. The thing that makes it really strange to us is that it sounds like it's coming from the room that we're stood in or in that kind of hallway. When I pan the camera to the left, you can hear the, the audio pan to the right. It's as if it was always coming from a space between the two of us. And not being able to hear it on the other cameras kind of, again, just adds to this thing of it was close to us and not someone who's just turned up outside talking. Just be a clock that may be running out of battery or something. I don't know.
visit this clock. Yeah. Okay. That shows how sensitive our ears are compared to the cameras. Mm -hmm. People always say that they can't hear the things that we can hear, but... We may need some equipment. Yeah. I think that's... We've done our initial call out now and there's nothing really happened. So let's um, get some stuff out. Um, just before we started recording, just as we were setting up, um, we heard what sounded like some wood being flipped. This is shit. <laughs> Still here. <laughs> We've put some devices out. They're on the floor. Is there any way that you can you know, throw them, touch them, go near them? Or make a sound? Where did that noise come from though? Where did you hear that? To my right. So it's down there, I think. Can you make that noise again, if that was you? We want to have a conversation. Should we come off of the tripods? Yeah. Cause I feel literally in this place, you've got to be quite mobile because they're quite... Yeah. Like, you also feel like you can't move too much because the floorboards are so loud. Yeah. If you... If you can see us and you can hear us, you'll know that we've set, up, set these devices up Along the floor of your house. Did you move my light? Uh, yes. It fell down and I okay. put it back up. But if you can affect any of these pieces, that would be amazing. Hello? I swear I saw something go past on that. That sounds weird. It might have just been like a fly. A fly? That, that reflected in the light. Just walking past. Yeah, I just saw something go past. Ever since we've been here, we can hear tiny little weird noises, but like, it's difficult. There's a lot of creaking, isn't there? Should we go in the kitchen? It's almost like I don't want to move, it's like the middle of the house. It's the problem, I don't like moving as well because it's the noise of the floorboards. Do you hear? Are we making any progress? If you know we're here, can you please try and speak to us? Make a noise to let us know that you're here.
It's eerily quiet. Yeah. It feels like it's at the calm before the storm, though. Mm. But we have been saying that for about an hour. <laughs> Even if you only ever just make one noise for us. That's all we ask. For now. <laughs> can you make one of these devices go off? Just touch one of them or... Hell, you can destroy it if you want to. I've got your camera. That wasn't the floor. Because it happened through there. It's so typical. I want oh, to make more points. cold. Come through here. Is it just me? That's cooler, isn't it? A lot cooler, yeah. Where did that happen? Not a clue. Because I thought it was the floorboard that I walked on, first of all. But it sounded like something was almost thrown through here. Or thrown, we always say that, like, so something was dro like dropped. Yeah. Or falling. At the same time as me walking on the floorboards. I don't, are they related? Did I knock something, like, on from the ceiling? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's possible. It's happened at exactly the same time. Thank you. If that was you, was it through here though? Because you got to remember yeah. that down there is the living room, and it would have sounded very similar. Hmm. Hello? Why are you being so quiet? Well, I'm trying to listen out for... I said... Can you keep doing that? Can you do it louder? to move. 
try not to move at all. In the beginning. Dislodge things off the walls and stuff because it is old. I don't know. He's like tick tick tick. Yeah, I know. Tick tick. It's like something was slowly being pushed off of something. Far fetched, maybe. So the sound never happens again, obviously. So we decided to go through to the kitchen instead. This is annoying because logically that could be something dislodging, but there what? To me, it sounded like it was a rat scratching at first, but then all of a sudden, and it's. Yeah, so you almost be like on the edge of something going push, 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 yeah. and then off. I but didn't see anything, and yeah. I was pretty much like prepared for that because I heard the sound, if you know what I mean, before. Yeah. And I still didn't see anything, which is why I'm wondering if it is just something falling off a side finally, because we're walking around or something. Mm. But also the first noise, well, not actually the first noise, but the main noise that I can mm. sort of that happened in that section was where I stepped on the floor and it sounded like something actually yeah let's try and figure that out I was stood at the top of the stairs then so the it's so hard to tell whereabouts would I have been walking when that noise yeah, happened yeah it would have been here just here and there's nothing there is there no there's not it's there's just, nothing that could it's just have fell light. there's nothing even on the floor in the hallway no so well there's, there's not there's really no Nothing that would have been attached to the ceiling. Okay. Well, we're going to try and do a final piece here. It's been quiet. What's through here? Just a little lobby. With the light on? Yeah. Weird. Okay. Um, before we leave, is there anything you want to do just to... Let us know you've been listening. One final noise, something just distinctive. Maybe make a very loud noise if it's that you want us to go and we will leave. I thought it was me, but apparently not. Whoa! That was just there. really random but it sounds like someone with a watering can <laughs> doesn't it that hollow drumming yeah.
So was this place potentially haunted by a watering can? If it is, I think I am currently possessed by it, but um, it's uh, in an amazing part of the country. Was it haunted? We're not so sure. So it's actually very hard to say. I mean, nothing definitive really happened, but at the same time, quite a lot happened in a sense that we were only there for two hours and we captured what we did. We would love to go back for a full night investigation, but we don't know how realistic that would be considering the type of location it is. Is it paranormal? That's really the question. I don't think we can prove that it's paranormal, so we kind of have to go with probably not, but maybe. You decide. We both own indoor space. Why the fuck are we out here? <laughs>